Okay. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about the ketogenic diet. What is the ketogenic diet? Basically what it is is a high fat, low carb, moderate protein diet. So for some of you that might be kind of scary. You might wonder how can I survive without carbs, even healthy carbs? And you can do it. And I found this diet to be the simplest and easiest diet to follow if you're trying to cut your carbs out. So I've tried other things and I just have not been able to do it. So let me show you the foods that I eat and what helps me to stay on track. What I do is eat everything that I want, everything that I love. I just simply figure out ways to take out the carbs, like I lose the bun. I don't put croutons on my salad or corn chips on my salad. I take the tortilla off my burrito and I make it into a bowl. Everything that you want to eat, you can still eat. You just have to simplify and modify and you just start eating it and you're boom. Next thing you know, you're full. So here we go. Let me show you. Let's start with protein. So I have some ground beef. This is regular, the lean one, or the 88% lean. It's not the 90%. I used to always buy that. We got chicken tenders for breakfast. You can have sausage. We got some, some other sausage here. We got burgers. Again, you don't need to buy the lean because we're trying to eat a high-fat diet. And the number one staple here, we got bacon. Eat bacon for breakfast. Eggs and bacon. Save the bacon grease. And then we got some chicken here. So that's your protein. You don't want to overdo it, but have a moderate amount of protein. A palm full, handful, you know. Then let's move on to our fats. So we got some avocado oil, coconut oil, ghee. I put this in my coffee. Kerrygold butter, I put that in my coffee. I put that on my eggs. I saute vegetables. I got some sour cream. I can make a burrito. I just take off the bun. MCT oil, this is wonderful. If you don't know about MCT oil, look it up. I put that in my coffee. And avocados, my favorite. If you are just wanting a snack, something to curb your hunger, eat an avocado. With some nuts, cheese. Then we got some on the go here almond butter, something you just throw in your purse, throw in the kids' lunch. Salads, you should be eating five uh, cups of vegetables a day. So, how could you do that? Well, you can make a stir fry, you could make a salad right here. When you make a salad, you load it with fat, so put nuts on it, put avocados on it, put cheese, put uh, ranch dressing, make a chipotle ranch dressing. Fill your salad with fat. And if you're using your salad as your main vegetable, you will have to eat half of one of these every day, unless you're mixing in other vegetables, such as squash. Squash is keto friendly. Another snack that's keto friendly is uh, pork rinds. That might make some of you happy. And then another snack I like is take some ham or turkey with cheese, pickle, wrap it, and you got a ham, cheese, and pickle wrap. Maybe put some mustard if you like it tangy. Eggs, I eat eggs every day. So these are the basics of what you will want to eat on a ketogenic diet. Nuts, unsalted nuts, and salt. Pink Himalayan salt is uh, really big right now, but this actually, believe it or not, you can research it, is even better than pink Himalayan sea salt. I'll have to do a whole nother video on that. If you want something even better than this, it's not cheap though. This salt right here. Look it up. Research it. I'll have to do another video on it. 
I had to buy this from my holistic doctor, but you can buy it online. So basically, this is the mother of all the salt. So it would be first this, then this, then pink Himalayan sea salt. Also, try to have some bone broth. Bone broth is really good. Oh yeah, berries. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. Yeah, no bananas. I buy these for my kids, no cantaloupe. Really just berries if you're trying to do a strict ketogenic diet. And believe me, you will be happy that you did it. You'll fall in love with it. You get fuller faster because fats fill you up fuller than carbs fill you up. You stay fuller longer than you ever have before. You have more mental clarity. You have more energy. Your skin will clear up. All because you're eating more fat. So go ahead. Eat your bacon and eggs for breakfast. Eat your sausage for breakfast. Eat a whole avocado every single day. Okay? So just think. What do you like to eat? My favorite, I love Mexican food. I love to eat meat with red sauce, pork with red, like Colorado sauce. I make that all the time. I just don't have rice or tortillas with it. Have a salad on the side or, you know, before you know it, you just eat what you normally would and you're full without the tortillas. So I dare you. I challenge you. Give it a try and you will be very happy you did. I guarantee, not guarantee, but I bet you You'll lose about five pounds your first week. Within a month, you'll be down about 15 pounds. Give it a try. Thanks. Any questions, comment, message me. Um, I'll be making more videos to come. I just wanted to get the basics out there. Okay? Bye.